This is part one of a two-part lesson. Now, if you're serious about playing guitar, one of the most important things is to learn the names of the notes on your fretboard. And from that, even if you play a chord that you have no idea what it is, if you, you made it up, you can figure out what the names of those notes are, and then you can reapply that chord all over the guitar anywhere you find those same notes. And you can use that to write harmonies, solos, vocal lines, all kinds of uh, things that you can use without even knowing the theory of what you're doing just by learning the names of the notes So you can google piano chart You'll find a chart that you can use as a reference to leave in your guitar case or put up on a stand that you can always kind of refer to Just so that you can find the notes quick on the guitar and eventually eventually you will learn them All right, so first thing we're gonna do is find the net the note C Find the two black keys to the left of the two black keys. You'll have C two black keys C Two black keys to the left, C. That's where you can find your C. The musical alphabet only goes from A to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then it repeats. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So let's locate an A. So you know how to find C. Two black keys to the left, there's C. Let's work our way down on the white keys and we'll find A. C, B, A. We're just moving down on the musical alphabet. So here's our A. Let's start from here and find the next A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. There's our low A and there's our higher A. An octave away. Octa, eight or eight uh, scale notes away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can see, it's located in the exact same spot that this one is. And then if I continue on from here, I just keep going in the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Or backwards. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And so on. So those are the names of your natural notes. Now we're going to move to sharps and flats. We'll start with sharps. A sharp looks like a number sign. It's a symbol that looks like a number sign or a hashtag in Twitter. And a sharp raises a note by one fret on the guitar or one key on the piano or a semitone in music theory. So we're going to work our way down to this note here. And how to find that? Well, just locate your C. C, B, A, G, F. So if I raise this note, this would be called an F sharp because it's one key higher than this F. So work our way up the alphabet. F sharp, G, G sharp, A. A sharp, B. There's no B sharp. Uh, you might remember a Simpsons episode where the barbershop quartet was called the B sharps. Uh, musicians got that joke because there is no B sharp. We'll continue on. Here's C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, no E sharp as well. You can name your band that if you want. F, F sharp. So we're back to where we started. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and so on. Now, if you're going in the other direction, they would be called a flat. So a flat kind of looks like a lowercase b. Uh, and a flat lowers a note by one fret on the guitar or one key on the piano or in music theory by one semitone. So let's start at this note here. What is that note? Well, you know how to find C. Two black keys to the left. There's C. So here's your B. This would be B flat. A, A flat. G, G flat. F, E. No F flat. You can name your band that too. E, E flat. D, D flat. C, no C flat. There's another band name. B, B flat. So now we're back where we started. B, B flat. B flat. That's how you find and name the notes on your piano. Now the way we're going to relate that to the guitar in part two is you're going to learn the names of your strings, your open strings. Uh, some do it from the thin string to the thick string. E, B, G, D, A, E or Easter Bunny gets dizzy at Easter. Easter Bunny gets dizzy at Easter. Or some go from the sixth string, the thick one, up to the highest one. E, A, D, G, B, E, or eat a darn good breakfast every day. Those are the names of your strings. So I'll give you a quick uh, overview here. That's your open E, your low E. If you move up one fret, you're going to get an F. Fret number two, F sharp. Fret three, G. Fourth fret, G sharp. Fifth fret, A. Sixth fret, A sharp. 7th fret, B, 8th fret, C, 9th fret, C sharp, 10th fret, D, 11th fret, D sharp, and the 12th fret back to 
E. Now, if you're looking at your guitar right now, you'll notice at the 12th fret, there's a double dot. That is where your notes start to repeat again. So here's your open string, and here's your 12th fret. That's why the double dot is there, because all your notes are just going to repeat from the 12th fret on. E, F, F sharp, G, and so on. So there's only 12 notes in music. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then it starts all over again. So on every string, you'll find that when you hit your A string, the 12th fret or the double dot will also be A. Your D string, open, the 12th fret where the double dot is will be D. And same with G, your 12th fret will be G. B string, 12th fret will be a B. And to your high E, your open E, and your 12th fret on your high E will also be another E. Sorry, you can't see that on the video. But that is how you find the notes on a piano. And you kind of get a sense of how you relate that to the guitar. So in part two of this lesson, I'll actually have a guitar and you'll be able to watch where all those notes are. And I'll show you a couple chords. Even if you don't know uh, the names of a chord that you're playing, you'll be able to figure out what the notes in that chord are and you'll be able to build those chords somewhere else on the guitar. Uh, stay tuned for part two. Uh, you can always uh, backtrack and look at some of the lessons. Just look on the Twitter feed at Nathan Fleet or on the YouTube channel.